Welcome you here to the future of audio and entertainment. It's current, it's now, you know, that popular culture space is very here and now. There's lots of things happening in it. There's lots of things bubbling up to the top. So from that side of things, it's really good to be here. The other thing for me, which I love doing, is networking. It's great to be out there. It's great to meet colleagues and people who work with me in the business and generally just catching up. So the data is showing that audio advertising works regardless of your attention level. And the reason for this is that your ears are always on. Be creative. Remember, listeners are time poor and don't be afraid to kind of disrupt their day just a little bit. To be really realistic with what, where we are with an audio is that it's a bit of an afterthought from a multimedia perspective. And it feels like audio is not getting the time it deserves. Consumers are exercising more and more control on how much advertising they let into their lives. Really exciting, untapped opportunity to get into it. Think about our clients. Some of them are gamers and get it. Some of them are former gamers who have probably mostly forgotten about it, and a lot of them aren't gamers. Not understanding this is like not understanding social media. Creative storytelling is always going to be the sort of key because that builds that deeper connection with audiences. Refreshing. Detailed. I thought there was a lot of detailed uh, case studies, which I really enjoyed. Challenging as well. A mix of people. You guys do a great job uh, attracting audiences from clients and media owners and tech companies. And I think that's your USP. Everything seems to be grounded in data a bit more than just opinions. And again, if I would say, what's Ad Wanted's superpower, it was grounded in data. 